class. You are welcome to this class. Here we want to solve this problem. And if you are just joining us, subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. Now let's look at what we have here. We can factor x square up here and we have x square into bracket. What will be left will be x raised to the power 6. Then we have minus 1. Then also from the denominator, we can factor x square out and have x square into bracket. x square will be left here. Then we have minus 1, which is equals to 9. So from there now, we can see from here that x square will cancel each other and we are left with x raised to the power 6 minus 1 over x raised to the power 2 minus 1 equals to 9. Then we can cross multiply from here. That is, when we cross multiply from here, we have x raised to the power 6 minus 1 multiplied by 1, t x raised to the power 6 minus 1, that's equals to 9 times x raised to the power 2 minus 1. Then what we have here now, we can rewrite this and say this will be x squared. Then raised to power 3 minus 1. And 1 can be written as y raised to power 3. 1 raised to power 3 as well. Which is equal to 9 into bracket x squared minus 1. And from here, we can use an identity that we have difference of 2 cube. That is when we have a cube minus b cube. This will give us a minus b multiply by a square plus a b plus b square so when we apply this here now treating our a as so a in this case will be x square y b in this case is one so why we put that there we now have this can be written as x square minus one multiply by so a square will be x square, then square now, then plus a b, that's x square times 1, that's t x square, then plus b square, that's 1 square, that's 1. Then will be equal to 9 into bracket x square minus 1. So this is what we have from here. Then we can say that from here now, x square minus 1, we cancel each other here when we divide through. Then we are left with this bracket equals to 9. And when we simplify this, we have as. Well, we can write it out and say this is x square. All square plus x square plus 1 will be equals to 9. And uh, let me still leave it like this. And when we bring 9 here now, that will be 1 minus 9 because plus 9 will become minus. So we will left to zero here. I can say x square, then all square plus x square, then minus eight equals to zero. Then let's represent x square here with a letter. Let p be equals to x square. Then we can rewrite this again and say this will give us p square now plus p minus 8 equals to 0, which gives us a quadratic equation. From here, we can solve for our p using the quadratic formula. That is, p will now be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. In this case, our a is the same thing as the coefficient of p square, which is 1. Our b is coefficient of p, which is also 1. And our c is minus 8, which is a constant. And by the time we solve this now, and we say p will now give us minus 1 plus or minus square root of b squared, that's 1 square, minus 4a, that's times 1, times c, minus 8, then over 2 times 1. Then by the time we simplify further, we see that p now will be equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square is t1. Then minus times minus, that gives us plus. 
that's plus 32 there, then over 2. So, which will give us P equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 33 over 2. So, we can separate that now and we have two values for our P. So, P will then be equals to minus 1 plus root 33 over 2 or P equals to minus 1 minus root 33 over 2. And from there, we know that our P is the same thing as X squared. So, P is same thing as X squared. Of course, this will be positive and since this is negative, this will not be a solution here. Now, let's equate P as X squared now. We cannot say that. From here we have x squared will then be equals to minus 1 plus root 33 over 2. Then to get x here, we can take the square root on both sides. Then the square root on this side. The square root on this side. Therefore, square cancel square root. And we then have what is here will now be x. will be equals to plus or minus square root of minus 1 plus root 33 over 2 which is our solution and of course when we use calculator to do this our s can also be written as plus or minus 1.54 and when we put this this will be our solution thank you for joining us and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos see you in the next class and bye for now.